Oh, you're friendly. Okay. Hey. You have a friendly skeever here? I suppose you don't get that many visitors here in Hestra's Nest. No, we don't. The Wathgarian Mountains don't let the common traveler pass it that easily. Running the inn isn't so bad, but I do miss journeying across the reach. I will say this is VA synth, but it sounds better than the other two that we had spoken to earlier. You used to travel a lot? Yes, I did. Okay, never I was mind. A courier. I ran up and down the <laughs> a little more metallic, a but the I've delivery's seen and better. Heard all sorts of things in the reach. I miss exchanging stories with other people. If you've got the time, I'd love to share some with you. What's that skeever doing over there? Oh, don't mind him. I found him in one of my wine barrels a while ago having the time of his life. Tame as a dog, so he's got a new home here. He protects the end from moldy food and people trying to skip out on a tab, so pay for your drinks or he'll nibble on your ankles. Alright, you've convinced me. Uh, got anything to tell about the Reach? I've noticed that Reachmen are divided into many tribes all squabbling with each other. No wonder we got conquered so easily. What do you think about the Forsworn? Um, they are a very new group of people. I don't believe they represent us. The Nords have wrote them with silver and blood. Us, the common folk, are stuck between them. I, my brother, would have had something to say. But he has sadly left me here and joined the gods. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Stay safe. Wouldn't want the one visitor I've had in a decade to end up dead. Right? It'd be bad for business. Oh, so I can take these mugs. These aren't stealing. Oh, his room. You know what? What if he has a deep, dark secret, and that's why he locked it so, uh, intently? Still don't know what happened to the other shopkeep. Because there was no one there, and there was a bear in the store. Oh, a blank note in his journal. Oh. Okay. Blank note? It's gonna be blank. Yep, see? Told you. I didn't realize there was gonna be nothing in his uh, journal except for his name. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're up to something a little bit suspicious in here. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come in here yet. We have Brack Shack. House is always locked. We have the Miner's Mansion, which is always locked as well. <gasps> you there? Are you Brack Shack? Yes. Brack Shack Grow Malik. What do you want? Oh, I'm so sorry. I always shout. Oh, same, buddy. Same. Where do you come from? What? Why would you care? Nobody cares, so why should you? I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. It's just so hard sometimes, you know? What do you mean? Oh, it's just so hard without mum and dad. Nobody cares. Nobody listens to me. Everybody hates me here, you know? Everybody. Not me. I don't hate you. You don't. You don't. Oh, that's wonderful. A friend. We'll go out and shop and make friendship bracelets with the fudge hen. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. I'm too full on. My friends always leave because I'm too clingy, whatever that means. Yeah, you really are. Are you sure you want to be my friend? Uh, yeah, I will. You will? Really? This truly is my lucky day. I finally have a friend. Yeah, oh boy. So, friend, what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to do all sorts of things. Uh -huh. I'm going to make us friendship bracelets from good strong steel. Okay. As long as you wear it, we'll be best friends forever. All right. But until then, I thought we could go and pick some willflowers. I've always wanted to do that with a friend. Man, I just got here, and people are going to make fun of me. This whole town is just going to make fun of me now. Uh, why wildflowers? Oh, I just love wildflowers. Would you like to go now? Sure. Okay, I have to get some things. I'll meet you underneath Madincha. Alright. It's time for friendship. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's something about this quest that's better because it's VA synth. It's like, oh boy, my friend, you will be my friend, friends, wildflowers. Which I can't even do it as good as the VA synth. I wish I could be as bad in terms of cadence as VA synth.
So it seems to get to Baranka, I have to go up the big staircase to heaven. I don't think it's going to be called that, but man, wouldn't that be great if it was. And it is called... Oh, the camp's down here. Friendly Fire Discovered. Okay, I like that. It's a little tongue-in-cheek, but I like that. Once again, the mod isn't meant to be super serious. As you can tell by the Toe quest, the Friend quest, I feel like the Innkeeper has a deep, dark secret, and maybe that'll be our third and final quest here. Who knows? Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes the Red Mist just takes me like that. What? Excuse me? Why are you so aggressive? Aggressive? What do you mean, aggressive? I'll show you aggressive. I thought we were friends! Yes, I guess I am aggressive. Mum said it's the way I was brought up. Mum? Yes, Mum and Dad Hawks have parents too. They weren't my real parents, obviously. I never knew my real dad. My mum said it was something about getting milk, but I don't really care. Anyways, mum had a hard time bringing up Karkshach and Narkshach and me to not be a burden I left. A pair in Orsinium took me in. They tried to help me be less angry. Real mum used to say anger was part of being an orc. They said people could change, but look at me. I can't control my anger. Maybe anger is part of being an orc. I thought we were friends. Uh, not all orcs are angry. Really? But I'm always angry. Is there a way to change that? Please say that there is. I don't know, but there will be some way. I just don't know it. Uh, well, thank you for trying. I suppose that at least I will keep hoping that one day. That one day I won't be angry anymore. I thought we were friends. Uh, it's beautiful here. Yes, it is. It's my favorite place in the whole world except for Mum and Dad's house. I miss them. Do you ever see them? No, not really. They live all the way over in Morrowind, of course, but I get letters to them by courier every now and then, which helps. That must be really hard. It is, and it doesn't help with my anger. One day I want to go back there and live with them. I know there'll be a job for a blacksmith in Morrowind. People always want a smith. It's true. Let's pick some wildflowers. Yes, good idea. How about you get five dandelion flowers, three lavender sprigs, and three blue mountain flowers? And I'll get the rest. Make sure to get the prettiest ones. Alright, he's very aggressive. He's very, very aggressive, in case you couldn't tell. Get me the prettiest dandelions, blue mountain flowers, and lavender sprigs. He's like, whoa, calm down there, buddy. That's too much for me. I thought I heard something. I thought I heard voices. I think we're okay. I, I think we're gonna be alright. What do you want from me? No, you've nope, done nope, it nope. again, Barkshatch. What was that? Come nope, by nope, the fudge nope. any time for a nope, chat. I heard, oh, 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 we got bandits, we got bandits. Curl your belly like an old woman's purse. Oh, I gotta make sure my friend doesn't die. No, don't you attack my friend. He's clingy, but I love him. He's clingy, but he's my friend, and you can't have him. Oh. Unless this was some sort of setup, but I don't think so, seeing as, uh... That was a close seeing one. as he got attacked. Lucky that we escaped. Absolutely. It reminded me of the battles back when I was a little orc, when I was at the stronghold. Oh, uh, you it was fell down then, me. too? It brought back strange memories. I need to think about that later. I've got your wildflowers. Oh, wonderful. Let's go back to Hystra's nest. Come by in the morning and I'll give you the bracelet. <laughs> I'm so curious why I had a dialogue option saying you're so aggressive. He's not aggressive in the slightest. Oh, am I being too clingy? Oh, can we go pick wildflowers? What about him is aggressive? He didn't even fight. He got hit by one arrow and fell down. All right, let's get my friendship bracelet. Unless he's forgotten about it now. If you're not buying, get out before my hammer decides to hit you. What the fuck? Yeah, now he's aggressive. Also, it's the next day. Uh, you mentioned your parents, mom and dad. Where are they? Well, they're from Malaxmo in Morrowind. I'm a long way from home, and that doesn't help. Oh, I miss them so much. I just wish mom and dad could come along. Why couldn't your parents come? I'm not sure exactly. It wouldn't be fair to uproot them, I guess. 
but mum gave me a burning piece of wood to light my fudges with. I kept it going and I lit new fires. Aww. I took other pieces of wood from those fires, and so my fudges fire is still somehow the fire of my parents' fudge. I like that. And I never let it extinguish so that I have something here from them. Come by the fudge any time for a chat. Alright, um... Maybe I'll just wait a few more hours and see, but... Yeah, wait for him to make the bracelet. Well, wait a day. I haven't waited a full day yet, so... Let's do that. There we go. Bracelet time. He's gonna knock my teeth out if I don't wear it. Are you gonna buy something or what? I thought we were friends. Have you made the bracelets? Yes, I have right here. I hope you like it. It's a symbol of our everlasting friendship. If you wear it for a month, Orsish Legion says that we will be forever bonded in the afterlife. Oh. Thank you. I'll always be happy to see you around. No, you won't. You're gonna yell at me the next time I talk to you. Watch. Either buy something or get out of here. Exactly, yeah. How are you doing, friend? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. I'm still a bit grumpy and my anger is still there, but I'm working on it, I swear. I don't really believe you. Come by the fudge any time for a chat. It's like so night and day. Oh, come by any time. What do you want? Oh, I'm so sorry. I always shout. <laughs> okay, at least that time he so apologized. Nice to get that off my chest. Thank you. Maybe he is getting better. Maybe he's getting slightly better. I wouldn't say by a lot, though. Wouldn't necessarily say by a lot. Wait, so where's my uh, bracelet? Oh, there it is. Ooh, 15% better prices. All right. Not bad. Also, I just looked it up. Apparently, the third and final quest will come from the Forsworn in the Broken Down Cabin. But it did say you have to wait a little while before it unlocks. Apparently, you have to wait a little while for the one with the Orc to unlock as well. So, I'll check in with him, see if he has any new dialogue, or if his elf companion has any new dialogue. Uh, but other than that, we can just kind of take a look around and see what there is to see. Hey, guys, how are you doing this fine morning? Uh, he's gonna eat you, by the way. Or he may eat you, he hasn't decided yet. You, I need your help. You know the girl, Analia. She's demonstrated an interest in my ways, and I think it's time to take the first step. I wish for her to partake in an enchant ritual of the Reach. Wait, in being a cannibal? How can I help? You will gather three things for me to perform the ritual, a child's doll, a ham and heart, and a potato. I... After that, we begin the more complicated process of acquiring a ceremonial reachman headdress, but we'll worry about that later. For now, the doll, heart, and potato will do. Of course, I'll return with the doll, heart, and potate. And soon the ritual will be underway. You know it. Children's doll, human heart, Potate. I will keep an eye out. Let me check around the world, because maybe I'll find it at some of these different camps. And just everywhere here. So we have the Dwarven Ruin. Is it going to be an actual interior, or is it going to be more so just one of these exterior ruins? Let's see. Derm's Schleft. That's an especially tricky dwarven one to say. So we have this staircase here, and we have this over here. Children's doll, potato, human heart. Don't forget it now. Don't you dare forget it now. So I can go that way to reach another camp, it seems, but... Let me see what's in that tower real quick. Oh, wait a second. We do have something here. All right. Oh. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> I saw the door. Oh. I got a little jebated. Ignore me. I have a feeling we might have to fight some Forsworn by this one camp. 
which I am okay with. I have no problem with a little bit of combat here and there, even if it's not tied to a quest. Oh, was that for the same trap? Probably. If anything, this might be where I need to go to find a, uh, a heart, a potato, a doll. I can also check that shop that uh, nobody seems to own anymore. Now you're mine. I don't think so. Do you have a heart that I can borrow by any chance? Yours will do, someone else's will do. I have the perk where uh, bows, arrows, crossbows, and crossbow bolts can paralyze people. It's funny because the paralyzed procs before the bolt or arrow even hits them. It's as you fire the arrow that they get paralyzed. So as you can see in that case, the arrow just sailed right over him. I will check all of you for hearts, but I just want to kill all of you first. It's very annoying when you're trying to just pick through someone's chest, grab their heart, and uh, everyone's just trying to kill you as you're rummaging around in their chest cavity. Oh, had he summoned something? Because there was another, um, red dot. Alright, let's look for hearts. The other thing is, since you can go back to Skyrim at any time, you don't necessarily need to try and find these ingredients here. You can just go back. Ooh, Helm of Horns. I like that. Uh, you can just go back to Skyrim and get what you need. Wait, what? Return the Helm of Horns. Oh! Oh. Um... May have done things a little bit out of order. Hmm. I... Don't necessarily want to break this quest. So, you know what? I'm gonna load a previous save and I'm gonna come back for the Horn of Helms later. Cause that is the, uh, the headdress that he wanted me to find. Oh, so the doll is right in the house with her. That's the only one that's marked, however. Potato and Human Heart, you're on your own for those. Oh. Well then, now to find a potato. I can't imagine that's going to be very hard. Aw oh, man, they already cooked this potato. Bullshit. Zero out of ten. I was hoping there might be a potato in the, uh, the abandoned shop. Which could very well just be hiding in one of these uh, large sacks. Cabbage? No. Apples? No. Carrot? No. Now you're just mocking me, game. Oh, here we go, potato! Alright. Happy days. One thing I should note is that, in total, there's only one other uh, location on the map that I hadn't been to yet. Just for the sake of convenience, I used in console commands to unlock all fast travel locations, all map marker locations. The only one left is called Namira's Nostril. Which, for all I know, it's also going to be tied to this quest, so I'm not going to go there just yet, because I don't want to break things, as I often sometimes maybe do. Are you just making your way back to town? They say Madanach will undergo the Briarheart ritual soon. I suppose we have you to thank for that, friend. I did not... Oh, wait. Oh, Madanach. I was thinking of the tree here. I have everything you have asked for. Potato, heart, doll. Good, good. Now for the fun part, the Helmet of Horns. Did you see the Forsworn camp in the northeast of the Volley? No, definitely they have what not. what we seek. Go forth, kill them, devour them if you want. Take what is necessary in return with the Helm of Horns. In the meantime, I will put together a small surprise near the village. Oh yes, a great surprise. I have a feeling we're doing something bad here. Return with the Helm. Don't worry, I will have everything ready soon enough. I feel like we're gonna get everyone killed. So it's a good thing I did the other quests first. Definitely my first time getting the Helm of Horns. 
absolutely my very first time. I never, ever, ever messed this quest up at all. Are you sure that is, that is necessary? What is this, F-84? Patience, there is one piece missing the helm. Oh, speaking of which... Ah, uh, there you are, and I see you have the helm. Marvelous, now let us start. Stay if you want to. I promise that it won't be boring. I want to see what happens. Was, uh, nice knowing you, Analia. Here, wear this. What happened? Why did the fire ignite? One thing after another, you asked about the rituals of old. Now, take this and eat. Oh, goodness, is that a heart? Lady of Decay here our woods. You who takes great care of the ugly of the forgotten, I have brought you a gift. You think I'm ugly? <laughs> Perhaps, but more importantly, you are stupid. Oh. Don't deny it. You cannot read and therefore cannot hope to hold respect in civilist society. Damn. But I can. I just... But do not despair, child. Nemura will not hold that against you. Damn. Give the heart and be accepted as who you truly are. A dumbass. Anelia, I grant you the honor of first Anelia. Damn it, go. She ran off, didn't she? Uh... There aren't many who'd listen to my teachings. I thought Analia was different. She was always so excited to hear about our history. You changed voice actors. You changed VA synth voice actors. That's new to me. This was a terrible idea. A terrible idea. Oh, all Either right. way, I'm not one for <gasps> waste. I got my potato I'll back. Hold of the heart. Let it ripen a bit before I. Uh, here, just take the potato. What about the doll? Maybe I want the doll back too. I feel like she could use that for a little bit of comfort right now. Oh, 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 she's getting attacked! Oh, I found her, but she's getting attacked by a wolf! No, 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 don't you hurt her, don't you hurt her. Oh my I god, thought I missed. We, were friends. I, we are friends, we are friends. You can't read, and honestly, that doesn't matter that much to me. You're okay, you're okay. You're fine. I see you took off the headdress. So much history to catch up on. The world moves quickly. Oh, you have nothing to say? History is my business, and it's all about people. So don't be a stranger, okay? Okay. I thought she would have more to say. Maybe if we let her get back to town. Maybe. Like, when she stops running, we'll talk to her then, and we'll see. You remind me of an old friend I had back at the guild. Okay, I guess not. I love talking to the people here. There's so much more alive than I had imagined. Yeah, some of them are, uh, really alive and want you to eat hearts and eat people. Well, that just leaves a one last location. Namira's nostrils. I don't think there's gonna be much to it. I don't think there's gonna be much of anything there, but... At the very least, I just wanna go check it out before we, uh, wrap up for the day. Because there's only three quests, and we have now done three, count them, three quests. I like the approach to uh, Namira's nostrils, the large Nordic arches that we have, which is just a really good piece of environment. I like when it's used in mods. Nice uh, billowing fog and clouds. A lot of chickens along the road. Oh, well, that's one less chicken. All right. Oh? <gasps> oh, a dragon. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's uh, just random because dragons don't always play well with new world spaces. Yep, that's exactly proof of it right there. Dragons don't play well with new world spaces because of height maps. That's why you see dragons fly through shit. <laughs> like that. Oh, so I don't know if the dragon's even supposed to be here. It could very well be random. Yeah, look at this guy. He is just defying space, time, and physics. Just fly through everything, why don't you? I don't know, in some ways it would be nice if this was intended as the final boss for Namira's nostrils rather than just having it be another Forsworn camp. I honestly wouldn't be opposed to it. I can absorb the soul from up here, right? 
Not that it necessarily matters too, too much, but... Alright, need to get a little closer. I'm not in range, apparently. Oh, we're almost here, and we have a tower to go into, but it looks like that's really about it. I don't even see any Forsworn here. Well, there's still a path this way. I'm gonna go check the tower real quick. Now, one thing I will mention is that it is kind of funny that we come here under the uh, pretense of, oh, you can find out how to get to Hammerfell for Miss Hammerfell. And there's just nothing about that. And I get that it's just because that was not the intent of the mod, that wasn't the purpose of the mod, but... In a way, it's kind of funny. It's like, oh, come here to find out how to get to Hammerfell. Well, we're not gonna actually do that, though. I was trying to open the second chest. I didn't think there'd be anything interesting in it, but... Was just curious. Wanted to see for myself. Oh, was there supposed to be a trap down there? I guess so. Yeah, so I have a feeling that's really just about it. Not really anything else of note, it would seem. Oh! God, you scared me! Oh, nothing else to see here! Wakes up three Forsworn who yell hey in my ear, and I shit myself. <laughs> hey! Oh, God. Oh, nothing interesting. Nothing. A lot of chests, though. A lot, a lot, a lot of chests. Oh! Orm's Aquatic Escape. Caster is invisible for 15 seconds. Activating an object or attack and will break the spell. Can breathe underwater for 15 seconds. Improved night vision for 15 seconds. Okay. That's interesting, at least. Just check up here real quick. One more chest to go with the dozens of other chests already in this tower. And I'll take a quick look to see what might be up that road, but it doesn't look like it's much. Honestly, it looks like there's a border over there. It looks like there's a wall. Hmm. What if that is the entrance to Hammerfell? Not that I'll be able to go in. But still... What if? Or rather not Hammerfell, but Stros Mackay. And Stros Mackay is an island, so it won't be an entrance to Stros Mackay. But maybe it would be an entrance to Hammerfell, because... You know what I mean. We were gonna come here to find a way into Hammerfell, to find a way to Stros Mackay. We're not going to either of them, but still, I want to see what's over here. It is a border. I was correct. We're just not going to be able to use it at all. Yeah. But that leads west. So, yeah. I would think it does lead to Hammerfell in the end. Alright. Well, that is quite literally everything in the mod. Uh, less than two hours of playing and recording in total. Honestly, not too shabby. Thank you for watching Hestra's Nest here on Skyrim Saturday. In the end, I think this mod serves its purpose really well. It's a great proof of concept to show that the Arcane University is allowing for new and aspiring mod authors and teams to get started, and really show off what they've learned. This isn't meant to be a serious project, and a good analogy would maybe be a term project, made by a student studying game development in school. It's not meant to be a full game, or in this case, a full mod, but rather to show their skills with quests, writing, world space design, and music composition. It's for that reason that the obvious VA synth or less serious quests work really well in the mod. If anything, VA synth added onto the humor of some characters and some quests for me, personally. The world space was very well designed, albeit a bit empty, but once again, the mod isn't intended to be a full, content-rich area in general. The music was fantastic, and it's honestly the highlight of the mod for me. Now, 
Ultimately, this is a fun one-off mod to play just for the heck of it, but I don't expect a lot of people to add this to their permanent load order or full playthroughs. That being said, the mod really doesn't interfere with other mods that add new world spaces such as Beyond Reach or Folkstead and the Border of Hammerfell. So this is something that should be compatible with really just about everything. Minus, potentially, any mods that edit Old Trolden or maybe Markarth's entrance. Now, if you're watching this and you're an aspiring mod author yourself, or just want to learn about modding in general, I absolutely recommend checking out the Arcane University. Everything they do is free, and I love that a team as dedicated as Beyond Skyrim is trying to share their knowledge and insight into modding. And of course, if you enjoyed these videos, please like and subscribe. And if you would like to see some non-Skyrim content from me, check out my Twitch channel where I stream several times a week. And even when we're not streaming Skyrim, we often talk about Bethesda, Elder Scrolls lore, mods, and so on. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time here on Skyrim Saturday.